Ah, uh, what's hey, this? Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Wait, who is Bluebird? I actually really like Gamora. this. I that if I find the collectibles, we get these little to? conversations. What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you're not wrong. Let me get this straight. Yandu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? I mean, <laughs> even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. So, how do people amazing. not know this? Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. Ooh, we're gonna find out? How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Shatari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. By the way, I'm not talking much because I'm actually enjoying this dialogue, excuse me. Brothers in chains, Yondu and I were cellmates, the pirate code, the Ravagers had a simple code, steal from everyone. The Makes Ravagers sense. had a simple code, steal from everyone. Doesn't Not matter. Warlords and children, it's all the same. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we okay, so out, instead of Yondu kidnapping him... He could have left him. me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead... He invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Kind of wish we could see this in like a flashback. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. So now my question is, how did you get kidnapped? I felt the, the same space? way when I joined Richard Ryder in the Resistance. Who? Like I was finally I like in control name. of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could've I mean, been that's kind of sweet. Uh, I hope Yondu wasn't as abusive in this version of events as he was in the MCU movies. Because, like, in the MCU movies, he used to threaten to eat Peter. <laughs> um, and just all around, kind of, like, push him around, kind of some dickhead shit. Yondu and I were cellmates. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached. Okay, I'm cool. He's kind of southern food. here, too. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... God damn, everybody here went dying. through some shit. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hell... Wait, but weren't you on the Chitauri side, Gamora? It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies. I may have had to dress like a resistance. woman to get out. Don't what judge. Buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once I pulled we the did, Bugs Bunny on. There was no going back. I was a ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Okay, okay. I like to see Peter's dynamic with everyone. I am absolutely pleasantly surprised with how good the story is. I'm gonna put like a thing to like skip the dialogue for people who don't care about dialogue, but I eat shit like this up. Is he gonna say anything? No? Uh, I'm just looking around, looking around. Yeah, so I'll put a thing to skip in case anyone's like bored of dialogue. Me personally, I love learning the backstory and getting context to everything. Uh, what's this? Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find. Oh some yeah, these are like a pre-order thing at GameStop. I bought my game digitally. Really? 
but I kind of regret it now because I would like to have one of those cards. But then also with the way GameStop works, I would wait like two days after the game came out for it to be delivered. Thirty-seven units. We appear to be six thousand nine hundred. Oh, did I miss a bunch of dialogue? No. Short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know. I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we're gonna we die. should go after Fin Fang Foom. We're gonna Foom die. Cracks. There are easier ways He's to get paid. He's a fucking magical dragon. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always out My on this figurines world. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Hold on, Groot. Focus on rocking your rocket system. I will sacrifice your head. Let's listen. Take us to them. Let's just listen to Groot. Guys. I think we should hear out Groot for once. I have a translator. I am Groot. He's right. We are a team. He says we should combine both ideas. Oh, I was close. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know the only are you problem dead ass? with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Is it Fin Fang Foom like known to be kind of? Uh... He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. Like no, I don't know. Don't. He's a little wild. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh yeah. You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! You gonna blow Groot up? What's up with you, Rocket? We need Groot, to take you to are therapy. are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? We're gonna sell we could Groot? bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> Mr. Thing would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. He's a I wooden teddy bear. Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Um, uh, ooh, I think Groot's a more convincing monster. Rocket's definitely scarier. I, I don't know who to pick. Fuck, I actually don't know who to pick. Um, can I pause and think about this for a second? I, I don't know who to pick. It, does it matter? Fuck. Because Groot actually is at least like a rare creature. I don't know if I want to put Rocket back in bondage. But like, I don't want Groot to get hurt. Is someone going to get hurt? Based, I don't know how important this decision is. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to, I feel like Rocket just, he has too much of a big mouth. I'm, I'm going to go with Groot. Well, I think Groot's more convincing. It was his idea first. In the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're going to bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Man, let's what a go team sell player. A monster. I kind of wanted to see Fing Fang Foom, but I also think that's a really bad idea. Maybe selling the trinkets We're would be a good idea. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Nine. Nine, Nine are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how. Isn't that works. based on Ooh, Japanese weather. folklore? Anyways, I'm so serious. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Or am I thinking of just Tomb Raider? In the original Tomb Raider, the the Empress that lived on that island. She can control the weather with her emotions. So are they basically just copying that? There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Okay, so we're yeah, just forgetting about the Fing Fang Foom thing. Alright. Okay. okay. I was just checking. I kinda wanted to meet him. Not gonna lie, I thought it would be kinda cool. Yep, no problem. But logically it just didn't seem like a good idea. Flying the wrong way. Nah, no, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one minor. So if the weather's tied to her meeting her emotions at the moment, we're fucked, right? Because it's a really bad storm out there. Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? Suit this it up. way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Time out real fast. 
I'm back. All right. Next time. I was checking his setting. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Well, this planet looks interesting. So are these all you floating? Gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does. <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? All right, we're going in. I didn't get to do all my dialogue options though. I had to think for group. I wonder if I can do it again. Try up. That's what I want to do after. Or maybe I'll save it for later. What's this? I don't know. Uh, after we pay this fine, let's see. He's gonna say Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predictable? Contraxia's got nice weather. Sarcasm. I love that. He's figuring it out. Uh, he's got some cool knives in here. Is that a picture of his wife? Yeah, that's definitely a picture of his wife. Like walking, this is gonna take a Was his wife also extremely literal, or is this just a Drax this thing? From the Cheer up, Rodin. The rain will be refreshing. Art of War by Sun Sh by Sun Tzu. I'm bad with names. I apologize. You love rain, Clark Plant. She doesn't have that many knickknacks. You made it sound like she had a whole fucking like thing here. She's got a couple of cool guns and knives. It's not that deep. Hey, you guys exaggerate. Got time to build a sonic umbrella. This is my room. Uh, we checked on, this already. It's only gonna take a tick. Okay, okay. We checked all the rooms. Let's go. You're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. Hey, the llama. How are you doing, llama? Are you infectious, by the way? We never found out, did we? Uh, I hope we checked you. Why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Good llama. I love this uh, llama. You're way too soft to be a monster, big girl. Yes, you are. I have a feeling that this llama actually has a secret to it. This could all have been avoided if the rodents had relinquished his It's gonna wind up being able to speak later, it's sentience. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no unit? At least 43. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. I still have my doubts. It's not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. Goddamn. I mean, at least you won't be chafing. Groot, you want to have some dialogue? Yeah, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Oh, let's see if we can talk to Groot. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. Can we teach him sign language? He has fingers. Um, lost in translation. Uh, actually hold that thought. Rocket! Uh, I didn't always have a translation implant. You no, know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> oh, so you guys can connect on that. TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cool. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. He's a good listener. I, I mean, love I love um I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too before Rocket and and us. I am Groot. Ah, he meant that. probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. You are, Groot. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Sign language. I'm telling you, he has fingers. He understands what we're saying. Literally, just teach him ASL. Actually, 
hold that thought. We should be able to teach him ASL. No come on, rocking. it can't be that hard. What? Can you come here for a sec? Maybe we give him a whiteboard and a marker. He learn how like want, write, Quill? or will he I'm write busy. I am Groot all the time you too? Can see if this translator has Groot's language on it. It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scud like that don't have rare language packages, and even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more Talinizen. or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for I'm a decade so much before about their you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> Your language is just so interesting how you say three words, it can mean a hundred different things. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. He said like a tonal thing? I am Groot. Is he releasing had this little chat. I am Groot. I love you, Groot, alright? Awesome. Cool. Just because you can't really communicate with the rest of us doesn't mean you're not valuable. All right, cool. All right, we let Groot feel like he's a part of things because he is. I love you, Llama. Bet we Please be made safe. Some money if we'd stop by nowhere first. Positivity. Oh, How? We're on some. No, we should not go. We got it. It's the good, Gamora. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. All right. Don't know why you had to yell that at me. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally Nova set Corps, foot on You're all talking at once, and I can't understand what's happening. Shut up. Yeah, that too. I you know, forgot They say that, that Sekhnoff Nine is inhospitable to soft-bodied no. beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. I'll be fine. Of course. Don't she like lumber? What about? All right, we're going in. We're going in. I could not understand a word y'all were saying at the end. Okay, here so, we go. next game, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I will definitely buy that game. Because I'm fucking it. loving this shit. Won't hurt you either. But y'all gotta work any dialogue, like, you know, being a little it is more flowy. Because so I love what they're saying. Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. I still feel like we should land it closer. This feels like just an excuse for combat, but I'll take it. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, exit. We'll easily oh, gain access to Lady Hellbent. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out this there. This looks so Never cool. Seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Alright, let's go, let's go. How do, I know I have the ability to fly now, but I don't know how to use it. God, I am just, I'm sorry, hey, I, I just feel like right? I am we getting Mass Effect jacket. vibes. Like, there's so much Some exploration. Less whining, more walking. This hey, makes me want to get into the comic Lord. books. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever but I know they're very storm. different, apparently. Stop complaining. Build morale. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Feeble One. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. <laughs> okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot. Ew! Across. Why does this shit look like spaghetti? We got this. Just don't fall, and we'll be fine. The space lady help in this range head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. So you did work with the Chitari. The underlying value of getting killed. Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? <laughs> uh, what's that? I'm getting a phone call. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. My vehicle's extended warranty. God damn. In disorder. Your Focus. Fan the flames. No fanning flames. Blow your worst, monstrous queen. <laughs> you know she can't control the weather, right? Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady Ape is so powerful, why does she live on this scutball? Zeknoff 9 is her ancestral home. 
concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. Drax, what, what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Yo, he is just in love with her secretly, isn't he? Uh, like, he is just being so aggressive. I think this uh, planet's pretty cool. I'm really enjoying exploring, like, the outer layers of the... Let me pause for a second. Real quick, little quick spiel. I... Uh, love, you know, both Marvel and DC. But one thing I felt as more of a movie watcher, I'm still kind of new to comic books. I only recently got into them. I feel like the uh, space areas are not really super fleshed out. Like, they never feel so detailed. And I'm happy to see, like, a chance to see it fully focused on. It's a lot of fun. It does look like noodle bowls, but the color looks unappetizing, I'll be honest. So I wonder what all this is. It's just like moss growing on these rocks. These formations are pretty cool, though. Everybody good? Oh, shit. That was way too close. But it missed. Well, Show brought Thor with us. Drax, please relax, man. This man is throbbing. Fucking maniac. Are we going to have to, like, avoid the lightning or something? Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Okay, so blue lightning pushes us off the edge. All right, got it. Fucking shit. That is actually pushing me back. There's no sprint option. Oh, so this is the cover? Can I hide by this? Okay, there, yeah, that functions. Some thick bushes. Fucking shit, again? Oh god, oh god, I made a mistake. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just stay behind the bushes, wherever the fuck these things are. Some weird bushes. Groot, you're literally a tree, just uh, stay rooted. <laughs> go, go, go. Never hide under a tree, am I gonna die? I think I'm gonna die. Oh, that's not a death scene? Okay. Is this thing alive? Oh, I thought it was alive for a second. Well, at least down here we might not have to worry about the lightning. Let me guess. Gigantic alien bugs. Everyone okay? More itchy creatures for me to get my ass kicked by? We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey! Who? Check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and their Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys, is that a nah, cube of jello? Not sure. Um, but it ain't moving now. I'm confused. I would be wary, Rudy. Nah, you know when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. Oh, well, that's alone. interesting. Wait, are you just naturally like this? You just fucking cubes of jello with spikes? Alright. I mean, at least I can say I've never seen something like this before. I don't even- I'm doing damage, right? I'm doing damage. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah. How do you use people's abilities? Hold the L3 to access Star-Lord abilities? Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. Yes, sir! Can't get me up here, pussy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he gonna throw the rock? Oh, he can throw rocks though. All right, let's uh, use people's abilities. How do I use abilities again? All right, you got that. Throw that Drax! Cut to pieces! Okay, so her sword does mad damage on that. All right, group, hold it down. Okay, so they're weak to melee damage. It seems like. Rocket, your turn. Okay, so Drac gets rid of the jello. And now there's a blue one. I hope it's just they keep shit. These are pretty cool. Like they look weird, but like I can at least say these are unique designs. Uh what we got? Uh Drac, your turn, buddy. They're kinda hard to shoot though when they're like that though. Like they're kinda or maybe I just have bad aim. I'm, I'm staying up here where it's safe. So can they hurt me up here? Okay, am I just safe up here completely? I'm ready. Find me an opening. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, take out the uh, take out that one right there. 
I was going for the blue one, but these things happen. Alright, we're doing good so far, guys. And everyone's still charging. God damn, I don't know if I'm doing bad or if I'm doing well right now. But it seems like they're not even really focusing on me as much as they're focusing on the team. Alright, nope, as soon as I said that. Melee? Uh, it doesn't really seem like melee's doing much. Did you just do a pun, Gamora? I'm coming, I got you, I got you, I got you, Drax. I Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Go get him, Tiger. No matter what I got it. I need a name for these guys. Jello cubes? I'm calling cubes. Uh area of effect. Alright, while they're down, Thrax go crazy, and I'll focus on the blue one. Blue one, excuse me. Well, good more, take out the shell. Good shit. I didn't think you were actually gonna just kill the thing in one hit. Well, that's new. You fucking star, you new looking ass motherfuckers. I have powers. All right, fuck it. Okay, so I can still be hurt up here. All right, that was a good test. Where is it? Where is it? Spikes are incoming. All right, good shit. Peter Quill. That was pretty That's cool. What a monster around here looks like. We were outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are her pets. They sort of do look like food. They literally look like Jello. Where the flark did we go? There's a trail going through the jungle. Try to find a way out. I think it leads to the fortress. I gotta give him credit. The enemy designs that we've seen so far are pretty cool. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. The ones from early in the game just made me itchy, though. need to find a way up that ship. Like those husk weird. Be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Drax, Peter, are you a poet? Get moving. Drax is having an existential meltdown. <laughs> He's just thinking about his like place in the universe. All right, well, I'm actually gonna be ending here. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. I know this was a very dialogue heavy um, episode, whatever you want to call it. But I had a great time. I love this shit. I'll include stuff to you know so you could skip dialogue if it's like not intensive to the main storyline. But either way, I had a blast. Thanks for stopping by. I look forward to doing this again. Like, comment, subscribe. Yada yada yada. Stay safe. Be a good person. Bye.